Here we go. This is an outstanding 1979 Corvette that has been totally refurbished and updated in every way you could imagine. We have put a lot of time and effort and care into making what you are looking at right now. This car is just stunning. It is a beautiful 1979 Corvette. Just to go over a couple of things that we did. If you're purchasing from a distance, pay attention to this video. Some people say my videos are a little lengthy, but I try to cover every single thing in the video so that if you're purchasing from a distance, you could be confident and you could know what kind of Corvette you are getting. This is a custom color. And yes, I do have the paint code. God forbid you ever get it scratched or something. I have the paint code, but it is a custom paint. It's kind of a mix of a bluish purple with metallic. It's not too strong metallic, so it looks really, really nice. I mean, this thing, you go anywhere with it, and people are like, wow. Yes, this car has the wow factor. I'm gonna, uh, uh, we, the whole engine has been redone. The whole thing. Where do you see how clean? Pay attention to the video. Where do you see how clean the engine compartment is? Let's go up really close to the paint. The condition of the paint is beautiful. The gloss on it is a really high gloss. We put new carpeting in. We put uh, uh, the seats, we put new seats in. The new foam in the seats, new seat coverings, and they are all year appropriate. It is a dark blue interior. It's just wonderful. The tires, brand new. American racing wheels, which gives it that kind of that kind of 70s look. They're brand new uh, rims, brand new tires. The exhaust, the undercarriage is in terrific shape. Very, very clean. Let's go inside. Oh, and one other thing. I mean, I know this isn't a huge deal, but the stereo in this car, I would say, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, sounds better than the stereos in the brand new cars today. The whole, you probably saw some photo, still photos and you're thinking, wow, those speakers in the back, they look like something the young kids put in their car. No, the only reason it's put in that way is to give this car the sound. This car, the stereo just sounds absolutely wonderful. Just let's see, I, I can't even say it. It just sounds so, so nice. A nice deep tone to it. You can you can turn the volume up and listen to some nice 80s rock or 70s, whatever you're in. It is just beautiful. Everything about this car. Air conditioning and the AC works. We'll start this car up shortly. We're gonna show you the engine as it's running. I'll flick on the air conditioner so you can see the air conditioning compressor engage. It, it just and look at the seats look at the condition of these seats like they've never been satting you know a lot of times you get all the worn out and cracked areas in here nothing nothing look at how plush those seats are just they, they're, like, they're like well they are new but they look brand spanking new we have the the, the matching floor mats we put the uh, wood grain and it's not the cheap the, the, the crappy wood grain that you, you get in some of the older cars that people throw in. This has a high gloss wood finish to it. So it looks really nice. It doesn't look, it looks really nice. The stereo system, as I told you, 
kind of looks funky in the back there, but it got the Corvette logo. Let me show you, because I am going to show you everything that I can. Let me pull the shade back. Look at the carpeting. Carpeting's all new, and not just in the front compartment. We put all new carpeting in the back, all the way in the back. This has the Corvette logo on the top there. This, is a, this was installed uh, uh, by a professional system here in New England, a professional company, and even though it looks like a, a young person's type of system, it is not obnoxious. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. What do we got here with the door panels? The door panels are brand new. That We put new door panels on all the door panels, all the leather and everything, the carpeting in the door panels, all new. Everything, I'll tell you what, without further ado, let's get this thing started. It starts right up, let me tell you. Every gauge works on it as it should. Tachometer works, speedo works, all the oil gauges work. Uh, uh, everything, actually, even the door jams, everything, when they did the paint, they did everything correctly, just the way it's supposed to be. All the areas here, all the way across. And as you see, brand new carpeting, not, not crappy, all brand new carpeting. Let me tell you, this car was done with care and you talk about the, like when you get this car home you have to do and the power antenna works along we're going to show you that you don't have to do a thing i mean we did all the pain in the neck bulwark and everything to get this car 100 percent mechanically nothing to do with this car now or anywhere in the near future look listen to it you can't even hear, it's just a humming. It's just humming. Look at the cleanliness. Look at the exhaust manifolds. Look at the valve covers, the intake, everything. We put brand new shocks on it all the way around and all the way around, all fours. Everything is, is just as clean as can be. We had the air conditioner compressor redone and uh, uh, fitted to R134. It's no longer the R12. It was all redone, the whole air conditioning system. Everything has been redone on this car. Even the radiator was taken out and redone. You get this car, all the pain. And let me tell you, some people sell cars and say, ah, oh, it just needs this or it just needs that. This is not one of those cars. This car, we, like I said earlier, we did all the pain in the <laughs> pain in the neck stuff that you would have done if you were fixing up every any any little little thing has been taken care of with this car. I've gone through it personally, hands on, all the way through to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. And that's what these videos are for. If you're purchasing from a distance, when you get it home, it will be what I am describing on this video. It is just a sharp looking car. Now, some people say, Tom, what category would you put it in? Would you put it in pristine? Would you put it in show car quality? Would you put it in driver quality? I always say driver quality so that when you get the car and you look at it and you say, wow, he was, he was really shortchanging himself by calling this driver quality. This car is show quality in my eyes, but I advertise them as driver quality. Just in case there's a little flaw here and there that you see, which I haven't. Let me tell you, I've been through this entire car and, and, and anything that, that was wrong with this car, I mean, the paint is a little aged. It, it has been a repaint and the paint is about eight years old, which heck, that is nothing. That's nothing. It's been well cared for ever since it's been repainted. And eight years of a paint job is in my eyes is like a new paint job this is an awesome color very striking very striking I, all right i'm going on too long with this with my sometimes i get carried away with my length of the videos and my 
I used to be a, a wedding DJ way back in the day, so I guess I, I kind of, that's where my talking comes from. But then I was pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get, did we already go through the inside? I think we did. I think we went through the whole interior. Uh, we went through the back area here. I'm just trying to remind myself because I talk so much. There's the tops. The tops are over there. Just to let you know. I took some still photos of the top so you can see they're in beautiful, beautiful condition. There is a little mark in the windshield here. I don't know if you could see it. One, two, there's, it just, it's just that about that. The previous owner was changing the wipers and son of a gun, he didn't do it right. And it went over and, and it just has a little scratch right there and right there. So that is the only, that's it that's all there is to it in this car let me oh let me turn on the radio wait do you i mean it's hard to hear it through uh the, this little uh let me uh get the, st the station in that i like here uh let's see i don't know if you could if you could hear the quality of it but the the antenna is up and believe me the antenna goes up and down it it it, it it, the antenna goes up and down perfectly. And actually, let me show you the headlights real quick while we're working with this here. The headlights, the headlights go up and down. And just so you know, all the lights work. All the, the headlights work, the, the parking lights work, the side lights work. And this is for if you, you know, if you have to go through an inspection or something, the sun, the sun is hitting them lights really strong where I am right now. But believe me, the only the outer ends, those lights work. Uh, uh, the signal lights work. Let me turn on the signal lights. As you can see, I'm not going to go through the whole. All the signal lights work. Believe me, the brake lights work. Even even the license plate light works and oh and listen to that sound this car has a beautiful nice little rumble sound to it everything about this car is totally ready to go and, and i just forgot to i know we're getting a little long here oh, i just shut the lights the headlights go down let me um i'm going to turn on that air conditioning compressor i turn on the ac so you can see the AC compressor engaged. Here's what I'm going to show you. You see the clutch on the outside? Where is it? You, you see the clutch on the outside. It's the part that's not, it's the part that's not spinning. All right, here I go. I'm going to throw the air on. I'm going to throw the air conditioner on. There it goes. Now, you see the clutch spinning now? And I know we're getting a little crazy here. And you could feel it coming through nice and cold. I mean, it's never as cold as today's cars, but it's nice and cold. All right, we're going to shut this off. And you could see the antenna going down. All right, now, now the video is getting a little wild, so let's get uh, let's get back. Horn, horn works. All right, little test drive, just like if you were here with me, and look at this car go. I man, oh man, this thing gets up and goes. Let me tell you. slow down here the brakes a hundred percent we went through the brakes we went through everything on here we replaced the brake calipers i think you could probably see them through the still photos let's get this going now man how what are we doing 60 miles almost 60 miles an hour in the back parking lot how do you like that 
This car rides nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's an oldie, but boy, it rides nice. It rides nice. Let me back it up a little bit so we go right back to where we were. It idles down right where it should, right at six, 600 RPMs. There you go. I'm just gonna shut it off here. Well, folks, I know it was a little lengthy, but I wanted you to get the whole idea of this car. 1979 Corvette. If you want a Corvette, you want a, let me tell you, it's 100% ready to go. The only thing you have to do maybe is take the dust off it once in a while. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. You can give me a call and good luck, folks.